this camp here. Okay. Oh, got oh, it. Shannon, I'm getting a couple questions. I'm getting some texts from folks. Is there a meeting? I don't see any info to sign on. Is there a place where people can go to, to get that? Oh, no. It, it was everywhere, right? It was on Facebook. <laughs> It could be operator error. Could be it's operator in the calendar. Error. It is. Yeah, it's there's in a the... link in the calendar on the website. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I will uh, relay that information. It's um, also on the Facebook. Yep. <clears throat> um, do you know the person? Do you want me to send? I them do. Up? No, I'm, I'm forwarding right now. I'm, okay. I'm sending um, it. And, uh, you know what, Cindy? Uh, maybe we should go on to the chat and just make a. Oh, well, never mind. If they can't figure out how to get in, yeah, I they're not, they're not gonna see the chat. <laughs> hey, even I knew that. Even That's I knew that. Great. Nice try, guy. Nice try. That doesn't work. I'm on, I'm on it. Trust me, guys. I, I'm on my game tonight. Let me tell okay. the people in the room how to get into the room. <laughs> I will handle all the technical questions tonight. Then this would just be like every other work meeting that I've sat through today. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hello? Can you hear me? <laughs> Knock it on the screen. Okay, how about we get started? Good evening, NNJR. I am Shannon Muller. Thanks for tuning in tonight for the first uh, monthly meeting of 2022. I uh, hope everyone is healthy and warm tonight. Uh, we have a bunch of our uh, board and activity chairs on the call with us tonight. We're going to talk about uh, plans for 22 in the COVID world. And uh, if you have questions, please type them in the chat room and uh, please ask any questions you have. And I'm going to pass it off to Rich, uh, who's going to say a few words, followed by Cindy. Thanks, Rich. Terrific. Thank you, Shannon. Um, Hi, everybody. I'm, I'm sorry we're meeting virtually, but, um, you know, the times are, are what they are, and we're hoping to meet in person more often in the future. So know that we're, we are working towards that, and we hope to be doing that very, very soon. Uh, unfortunately, as many of you have seen, we unfortunately had to cancel the swap meet, uh, the in-person swap meet, but I know that there is a Facebook swap meet going on. So if you have parts or pieces you need to get uh, transferred to somebody else, that, that is an option for folks. Um, as is Porsche for us, you can always put out an ad in our magazine to get items um, out of your garage and into someone else's garage. Um, it's also important to note, and, um, and Ron knows about this very well, we have a photo contest uh, coming up, uh, going on. People have submitted photos, which is great. Uh, we had to bring that online as well. And that will be a situation where people will actually be able to vote on our social media pages for... Uh, those photos, which is terrific. So um, one last thing I want to mention before I turn it over to Cindy, which is that everyone should know Porsche Parade is coming up and it's in, it's in our vicinity. It's not in our region necessarily, but it's in our vicinity. It'll be up in the Poconos at the Kalahari Resort, which I'm told is a great place and I've yet to go, uh, June 12th through 18th. And I believe signing up for the parade will start on February 2nd. So folks, if you've not been to one, um, this is your year. Hmm. And we'll hope that uh, in-person gatherings are okay by June. And it should be a really a great time um, with a lot of incredible activity. So I, I, you know, I, everybody should give it a shot if they have the time in their schedule. That is it for me. I thank everybody for joining tonight and I'm gonna turn it over to our secretary, Cindy. Hey everybody. Uh, for anybody that I haven't met, I'm Cindy Cristello. I am the secretary and my husband, Tony, and I are the NNJR social chairs. So we're very excited because this year, 2022, marks NNJR's 65th anniversary as a region. So that's pretty cool. We have, uh, we're starting to formulate some great plans. Uh, we are going to kick off the year with a social gathering. It's going to, it is targeted for early March. Um, I can't share details yet because we're still nailing some of them down, but just pay attention to the website and the e-blasts for details on the, on the event. And hopefully the weather will cooperate for us. So we're kind of working, working through some of the logistics on that. Uh, every five years when we have an anniversary year, it's kind of become our tradition to do a big summer celebration, big family friendly 
fun thing to do. Uh, we're going to try and top what John did last year at the uh, party in the park. It's going to be hard, but we're going to do our best. So, uh, so that's that's on the table. We are also going to continue our wine tasting, which is an annual event that we do every year. Uh, Bill Gilbert, I see, is on. Bill's our one of our partners in crime, and Doug. Um, Hey, I just do the party planning. These guys know everything there is to know about wine and uh, they, they do the heavy lifting on that one. So uh, very excited to do that. If you've not been to a wine tasting, you should definitely do it. It's, it's for everyone, whether they're serious about it or whether they just like to drink wine. <laughs> um, finally, we also know that we're gonna do a holiday party again this year. We were so sad that we couldn't do them in 2020. We did something a little different last year. We did an afternoon event, maybe a little more COVID friendly with less, you know, dancing on top of each other kind of thing. So we're gonna kind of monitor the year, see how it goes and figure out what works best. Really need some input from the membership as to what you guys wanna do. Um, traditionally social events involve, you know, so, some form of eating and drinking, which, uh, you know, the pandemic kind of put the kibosh on. So looking for some uh, creative ways to adapt so that we can continue to do those kind of events. And uh, know that when we do those events, we'll do them in a way that's, that's safe and appropriate for everybody because we don't want to put anybody at risk. Um, so that's all I have, just a big preview of it's gonna be a big year and it's only January, so we're still in planning phases and um, very open to input. Easy to uh, contact my husband and I, social at nnjr-pca.com. You know, feel free to uh, drop me some ideas or raise your hand and volunteer and uh, look forward to seeing you guys soon. All right. Thanks, Cindy. Really appreciate going your to, time. Oh, no problem. I'm going to apologize in advance for dropping. I, I, I sit on an industry board for work and, and I had this, I had a meeting that went from 11 to 5 today, so I got no work done. So no I, I got to get some work done so I don't get fired. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Thank gonna you hop in very a couple much. Minutes, but Great to see everybody. If anyone has questions, happy to uh, happy to answer any now before I go. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you. Um, so I think next up we were going to have Rudy uh, speak. So let me make him a co-host. Sorry, uh, share my screen. Uh, okay. Let's see. And if I oh. share. And if I do this right. You are sharing. Oh, wait. Go back to online share. Oh, there you go. Can you see NNJR member NNJR yes. membership update? Okay. Yes. So just wanted to uh, uh, for those of you who have not met us yet, my the brains of the outfits right next to me. It's Nancy. Uh, and, and, and I'm Rudy. Uh, we've been doing membership now, I think for five, this will be our fifth year, I believe. Um, so uh, a lot of good data. And just wanted to give everyone an update. Um, when I picked the wrong one, Ugh, I picked the wrong one. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to wing it. Um, all right. So we'll bring it back to the this is what happens on live television, folks. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Rich knows that. yeah so all right sorry about that so again brains of the outfit my better half nancy um if you've joined in the last couple of years she's the one that uh, coordinates all the, the the new membership stuff for you gets the t-shirts and everything all right so the, the slides i was supposed to present were showing that um we had a three percent increase last year in new membership and uh, that was uh, 255 new primary members uh, over the prior year. Uh, it was actually interesting that it was, it, the growth was slower last year uh, than, than 2021. Ironically with COVID, um, we saw I think a 12% increase year over, the, over 20, uh, I think because people were just stuck at home and, um, and, and, and thought I'm gonna join the Porsche club that maybe they didn't think of before. So uh, this year was a little bit flatter than that, but uh, still, if, if you've seen the graphs, and in fact, the graphs I was referring to are in this month's uh, Porsche for us that, that just was posted, uh, I believe, last week, and you can see them. So what I wanted to show is that um, 
primary membership is still uh, hovering around uh, 2,700, if I recall, 2,600. It's been pretty se steady on a, on a um, actually the last five years, it's gone up from about 2,300 to just under 2,700, uh, uh, quoting from the top of my head. And the total membership, that includes um, um, spouses and, and, and family members that are registered, it remains at about uh, 3,700. So um, if anything, if you haven't done so already, I encourage, we encourage everybody to go to pca.org. If you have any changes to your, um, you know, if you buy a new car, a new Porsche, or want to change your phone number or email address, you can go to pca.org in the profile section and, and change your uh, information there. And we really encourage you to add a second, uh, you know, your spouse or other family member as uh, doing that gets them on our email lists so that uh, perhaps, you know, if you're absent-minded like me, you don't see an email address, uh, maybe an activity coming up, but, but Nancy says, hey, why aren't we going to this? And keeps me honest on that. So, so it's a good way to uh, uh, keep abreast of things. And um, the first, we, we, we started uh, doing a thing two years ago, our new member events. Um, they're more of a, a casual get together on a Saturday morning, uh, show up for a couple hours. We, we, we get uh, catered from Bagel Garden. If you haven't had that, uh, you should show up for that. Nothing more than uh, great bagels. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, like a it's like a Brooklyn bagel. And, this, and, and uh, our, our, Brooklyn, our official, uh, unofficial Brooklyn bagel uh, cr uh, uh, critic uh, loves that place. And so we uh, use it often. And um, so our first event actually is going to be uh, as part of uh, the gathering of the faithful. That's in uh, March, somebody, uh, March, I 20th. March 20th. So um, beyond that, uh, we have a couple uh, things tentatively planned. We're kind of doing a wait and see attitude to see how things go here. Uh, but our, our plan B, like it was last year, is uh, we can always have an outdoor event uh, for, for the new members. So I think we've got th at least uh, three things, at least tentatively scheduled for the year. And, uh, and that's our plan combined with, uh, uh, like we said, the, the new member gathering and, uh, and of course the, the picnic later on this year. So, uh, I don't really want to add anything to that, Nancy. Okay. So if you ever have any questions about membership, uh, uh, just email us at membership at NNJR and, uh, we'll get back to you. So could you add a friend to your uh, account? If you Absolutely. Wanted? Like if it was going to be someone you were going to go do things with? Yep. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. That's great. Well, thanks and for that. You've got a question on the screen there, uh, Shannon. Oh, yeah. What is the gathering of the faithful? Ooh, someone Ooh. doesn't know that. John's going to be upset. I can like, tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John, you want to go up, for John. that? Sure. The gathering of the faithful will start about eight or nine o'clock, I forget the official hour, but what we've done for the past almost decade or so, um, we'll have breakfast, which would be the typical bagels, et cetera, some omelets. Um, the most important part might be mimosas and things like that. <laughs> we will basically have a, uh, a turnout that will bring all their toys if it's not snowing out and uh, have a good day meeting everybody, having the new members meet the old members. And it's basically just a breakfast and a fun time together. And it will also be a Concord related device where the Concord folks can go over how judging works. So it's a combination of a bunch of different things, but it's kind of a meet and greet to old members and new members and a lot of fun. See everybody there? At High Marks in Marstown. Um, John, you want to talk a little bit about Rally for the Year? Um, I just scanned through all the people that I see on the screen. I guess that's what we're dealing with. So going through what the rules are and all that, I see everybody has already been on a rally. So I think it would be a little redundant. But in a quick scenario, without getting too specific, we'll meet. We'll have a little breakfast. We'll uh, hand out directions for a magical mystery tour ride through the back. Uh, roads that most people have never been on. Um, it is not a time speed distance. It is not something that will be hard to figure. As a matter of fact, it's a bunch of gags 
jokes, riddles along the way that you'll answer questions. At the end, you'll wind up in an old inn or a beautiful restaurant that uh, we can have some libations and some great food and party while the judges figure out what is going on with, uh, with the scoring. And um, I have a, uh, my trusty crew, um, I see Peter, uh, Peter and Joanne Schneider will be part of the, uh, the crew. Eric and Pat Sojin will also be part of scoring and that sort of thing, all of which have helped in designing some of the route, route uh, designing some of the jokes. We all work as a great team and I'm looking forward to next year having the same. Also, um, part of Rally, not specifically to Rally, but I've got a couple ideas for some treks. And uh, in the past, we have gone from point A to point B. Point B would be things like the beach, um, a vineyard. And uh, we'll have some other ideas about uh, drives that will go out through the back roads and you get to uh, exercise your toys and have a good time that way. And um, we're working on all of those. The oddity of that is like all of this, COVID has a lot to do with the destination. I've got great ideas for destinations, but sometimes they don't have the same ideas about us coming there. So uh, hopefully uh, during this year, everything gets a little better with all of that and uh, we all get to play together nicely. Well, thank you, thank you. Right on, John. The goal is still for cruise, right? cruise night, right, John? I have an idea for that. We have been officially banned from the last place. Oh, okay. <laughs> The, um, they were patient. <laughs> they were patient. They gave us eight years of uh, the mayhem. And uh, that said, we have uh, we have worn out our welcome. 500 people showing up uh, and all the police having to direct traffic, etc. But uh, as always, I have other games up my sleeve. So we'll come up with something. I'm, I'm actively doing that. And I have a good imagination, as you probably might be well aware, that we'll have some fun together. Okay. We'll look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Kenan, yes. While you're talking about treks and rallies, uh, in November, we'll have a return to the Pine Barrens for a off-road trek for those of us who have four-wheel drive vehicles. Um, hopefully, we'll be returning to the larger venue, which is the BMI building, uh, which can fit 120 people. Uh, last year, we were limited to about 60 because of the uh, start and end location. And it's a nice uh, back road ride through uh, the Pine Barrens with um, some some mud and puddles along the way, um, but uh, in a local band, and you get to see some of the history of South Jersey. I'm always disappointed I can't make that event, but it looks like a lot of fun. Although, if anyone knows Matt Muller, he's not thrilled to get a car that dirty, but I could go by myself. So there, but, thank you, But Peter. very well attended, very well attended last year, Peter. So that's good news. Yeah, even with COVID, yeah. I mean, um, it is now November 13th. Uh, so it's the second Sunday of the month versus the first Sunday of November. John and I switched dates because of a prior obligation I had. But uh, it should all be the same. All right. Okay. Um, so we have Bob G wants to say a couple of comments about national rally and zone events. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Shannon, very much. Um, my name is uh, Bob Gutyar. I'm from northern New Jersey originally, but I'm in Chesapeake region of Maryland. Um, the reason I, I, I wanted to join your call is I still get the Porsche Forest, of course, but um, for the national events this year, specifically for rallies, the gimmick rally at the Porsche Parade will be on the 15th of June. Parade week is 12 through 18 June at the Kalahari Resort in the Poconos, which is obviously not very far from uh, NNJR. Um, the gimmick rally with, that my wife runs and I support is going to be part of the parade. It's on that Thursday, and it's going to be at the Delaware Water Gap State Park. So it's literally across the Delaware River. Uh, from Sussex County. And uh, the theme of the rally this year, it's a gimmick rally, of course, will be um, er everything but uh, dirty dancing. So it's going to harken back to the Pocono Resort activities uh, back in the day in the 50s and 60s. It should be a lot of fun. The reason I mention it is hopefully you'll be able, many of you will be able to go to the Porsche Parade this year, which I highly encourage, but we're also seeking your participation in the event. And if you don't want to participate, we need volunteers um, to help run the rally. It's going to be an extensive gimmick rally across up and down 
the Delaware, uh, Delaware War Gap State Park. So we'll need your support on that. If anyone has any questions, uh, please get with me after this, or uh, you can call me or whatever. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm the national policy chair for the club as well. So you can look me up in the back of piano. The other event that I wanted to mention um, is Boardwalk Reunion that my wife and I run. We had great support from NJR last year. This year it is on the 15th of October at uh, Ocean City, New Jersey. So I'm hopeful that NNGR will show up in force like you did last year. I really hope that you guys can maybe do a trek or a tour down so we can get more of you guys down. But this past year we had 300 cars on the boardwalk. We wanna get more uh, on the boards this year and uh, I think we'll have a very successful event. So Shannon, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Oh no, thank you very much for calling in. I appreciate it. I do hope our members get to participate. I know I'm going to do my best to be there as often as I can. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, you Bob. Um, next thank up, you. how about we have Dyke Kenton? Are you there, sir? Yes, I am. Okay. You're going to share your screen with yeah, me? I'm going to do that. Share. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. My name's Dyke. I've been in the club since 1984. Uh, Right now, I'm uh, uh, happy to be maintaining uh, the website. And what I wanted to do is give you uh, some uh, tricks and techniques of how to find stuff quickly on the website and know where to look. Um, we have 65 years worth of information uh, underneath the website. So there's a lot of stuff in there if you know where to look. I feel like look. I'm only seeing Shannon's screen, though, still. No, I, I can see your screen. Your, your, it says, I'm there it screen. is. Okay, there you go. You're on your way. I'm on my way. Okay. So, uh, many people have been uh, to the website. I'm going to give you a basic uh, lesson on navigation. Um, if you come to the website, you'll notice that there's a top level menu, secondary uh, menu, a lot of icons uh, that you can click. And as you navigate through the site, you can scroll up and down. And this is basically the premise that you're gonna to use to find information on the site. As I said, there's 65, we have, we, we will put up over 300 events on our calendars and uh, uh, there's just a ton of information that's, that's in the site. So I'm gonna walk you through how you may or um, uh, use the site uh, to find out what you're looking for real quickly. The page that's, uh, uh, access the most is our calendar page, which is obvious is because that's where the events are and people want to come to our club to go to our events. Uh, so if we went to the calendar, you'll see there's a couple different views. We'll highlight the items that are in the month. <clears throat> you can scroll through month to month and back and forth. You can also search for events such as rally, And you can also look at a couple different views. You can look at an event list, which is all the events listed. And this will bring up just the events that are uh, uh, forward looking. Um, and we also have a calendar view. So if you're someone that likes to look at a calendar and be able to select on a on an event to see what it is, you can quickly find where you're going through. So you have the ability to search through the calendar, look at a couple different views. Um, very powerful calendar. Um, I'd suggest uh, you play around with it. At the bottom of our page, uh, you'll see that we have shortcuts, which we call quick links. We have our major activities. And then we have things such as join our Facebook group. So you can click on our, our Facebook icon and you can actually join our uh, members only Facebook group uh, that uh, Ron Miguel manages. Thank you, Ron. Um, we have a YouTube channel that you can subscribe to. And we also have the ability to um, import uh, our calendar into your calendar. Uh, so there's two ways that can, be, that can be done. You can simply click on this and add this to a Google calendar. Or uh, if you like, we can give you a file that has all the events that you would need, and then you can import that into something such as your uh, 
Outlook calendar. And if you, <clears throat> if you did something like, I have no idea what you're talking about, Dyke, you can just come in here and search the site for, let's say, calendar integration. So you can look at the posts on how you can integrate uh, uh, our calendar, calendar integration. And you'll see uh, posts that are there that'll walk you through the steps of how you can use our calendar, how you can in, uh, uh, import it, et cetera. And for just about anything that you wanna do on the site, if you have a question, whether it's how to sign up for an event or how to go to our store, uh, the shortcut is you can just come in and uh, hit the search and that'll go through 10 years of posts uh, and you can pull up the information that you're looking for. So really a, a quick way to uh, shortcut your, your search. Our top line is our uh, different links to our YouTube channel, uh, uh, channel which is kind of neat. This has got all our different wow. groupings of videos. So we have our do-it-yourself concours. We have track presentations, 28. I mean, we have a ton of information here. Um, and we have some funny videos, et cetera. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but uh, we'll also have all the monthly meetings here. So that's an easy way. If you miss something, you can um, quickly look at the video or you know, want to look at what happened at cruise night, et cetera. So there's a, there's a, a ton of information there for you to look at. Um, let me just pull this down. Galleries are uh, from events. We'll normally post lots of pictures. There's a lot of dedicated people that take pictures of, at uh, concours and DEs. And if you want to see your car, you can come through and uh, look at a gallery. Uh, supporter page is a, a, a shortcut to the people that support us. And we highly recommend that you uh, if you have any questions, these are the people that uh, have been supporting us for for decades. Uh, and they, these are all just wonderful, wonderful sponsors. Um, shortcut to our forms and downloads. So let's say you want to go to an event or you don't know uh, uh, what our um, tech forms are or our release waivers or our COVID waivers, um, you can take a shortcut here. Contact us is if you have any question. Just type it in, indicate what you're interested in, type in the message, and that comes to um, the webmaster and the webmaster then directs that to the correct person. Then normally we, we answer those within uh, 48 hours, if not 24 hours. So your top bar is a lot of shortcuts and you can also um, link directly to our Facebook page and our Instagram page, which um, we won't go into detail here. So we covered our calendars. We also have the zone one calendar. We also have our national calendar. So, which goes to the national site. And if we have an event that's on the calendar that you wanna register for, we'll have a registration page. Cool. So it's a kind of a shortcut. All right. Uh, activities, as you know, we, we run a ton of activities. Um, we have driver's ed, autocross, technical events, rallies, concords, social events, charity, me monthly meetings, et cetera. Uh, each one of the, uh, uh, the, these uh, events has a chairperson that takes care of it and they supply the information. I'm going to leave the driver's ed page to last because it's pretty long. But since we had John on here, we'll, we'll click on John's page. Um, and this will give you an idea of the rallies. And you'll have things like frequently asked questions, results from last year, some of the root examples. Um, as you scroll down, it'll bring up the next scheduled rally and anything that's been posted in our blog about rallies. So a ton of information. You can live your, if you're a rally person, you can live your life on the rally page. Huh. Uh, what's new is our blog. Uh, that's when stuff comes up and we want you to know, um, we'll put a blog post. So you'll see, we have some new things to buy the parade on the, um, uh, uh the, um, 
the parade in the Poconos, um, Porsche building uh, 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 Singer engines, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is kind of fun, keeps you up to uh, date of what's going on both in the region and, and at a national area. Uh, publication and resources. Um, as you know, we have this beautiful magazine we've had since I started. Uh, um, Petra does an unbelievable job. Uh, so this is our monthly magazine. It's an award-winning magazine. Um, it's uh, now all digital, which is, uh, in my opinion, better than the printed copy because we can link up videos. We can direct you directly to links to look into more information. And we'll have the history uh, of all our all our uh, uh Porsche forests. This is a password protected page. Um, so you would come here and create your own login. It'll just ask you for your name and then you create a, a login and then you'll have access to the actual information. Um, also in publications, how you can um, submit uh, stories. Um, a little bit about how we do our classified, which is uh, now we do that on our Facebook page. Um, and other PCA resources. So uh, quick shortcuts to links to other areas such as PCA homepage, how to renew your membership, um, technical news, et cetera, et cetera. Whenever you want to go back to the home site, you just come to the NNJR and you click on that and boom, you're back home. Uh, okay. Um, Let's just give you an idea of what might be in a page. Oh, for, I forgot about this. Let's talk about NNJR. This is a great page. Um, I bring this up because, um, oh, it's not updated. I'm, I have to update that page. We uh, actually did uh, $42,000 worth of uh, uh, donations this year. That's unbelievable. Um, we have, uh, with affiliate members, 3,700 uh, uh, members. We've been uh, a club for 65 years. We've been doing DE for 52 years. One of the things that I really like is um, if you go back to the history page, uh, you can actually page through all the years, all the way back to like 19, you know, whatever 65 years ago is, and you'll see the history of the club and what we've done. How did you uh, get that on there? What's that? How did you get that on there? It was a long night, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's so much stuff. Holy cow. Uh, well, I, I, I didn't do this. I didn't. We have a historian uh, a group and they put this together and all I did was copy and paste it. But it really is. That's a like a of, that's like war and peace of history. Oh, no, it's 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 wow. It's, it's so much fun. That um, is so really cool. Is. Like really yeah, awesome. Yep. I dig that. And, you know, the, the, the club is uh, is pretty amazing. We've, you know, I think we've won uh, region of the year six times. And I mean, this this club is this club is the best club, best Porsche club on the planet. Um, that's kind of a prejudiced view, but uh, I guess I can say that. No, it's it's totally true. Okay. <laughs> so uh, some pretty some pretty neat stuff. If you got some time uh, and you want to just play around, you know, you can go to the history. You can look at um uh, the different board chairs, you can content, uh, contact them uh, uh, directly. So we have our uh, officers, we have our chairs. Uh, if you're interested, um, we are a very uh, well-run club. We uh, uh, have meetings every month and we publish our minutes. So if you want to see what's going on, as well as the bylaws for the club. So it's, it's, it's an absolutely top-notch, well-run um, club. Uh, you Privacy and usage. We don't. Uh, um, we don't sell your name or, or your address to any advertiser. We keep that all within uh, the club itself. Uh, so it's a it's a safe place to go look, uh, and you're not going to get uh, uh, spied on. All right. So let's go back to um, activities. Uh, we do a lot with drivers education. So this is one of our most complex pages, but I think I'll walk you through on how it, how it might work. Um, our general navigation is up and down. Uh, and then we have shortcuts, which are what we call floating menus. So let's say I was coming here and I wanted to just look at events. This will bring up our events that are planned for this year. If I wanted to go to safety tech, or if I wanted to get track information, 
or instructional resources or news galleries. So there is just a ton of information. If you're interested, we've probably done it and we've probably written it down. And uh, you know, probably 50% of this stuff is Bill Gilbert. Thank you very much, Bill. Uh, but I mean, it really is fantastic stuff. Um, you know, your, your first event, what clothing should you wear? What's ocular driving? Um, you know, uh, uh, how do I prepare my car? I'm going to this track uh, um, at Summit Point, right? What does it look like? Well, we'll give you turn by turn and videos, instructions on, on, on how to have your best time and your best experience out there. Um, if you're new to DE, we'll give you a whole rundown of, of what to do. Um, all our classroom materials, car clinics. I mean, it's just chock full of information. Uh, it's, it's a fun site. Uh, there's a lot of effort and a lot of time that's gone into it. I encourage you to just, uh, you know, click around. Um, and if you have ever have any questions, um, just hit this contact us. And uh, if you want to find any, any information or you have any suggestions, just click this and um, we get back to you. So that's just a quick view of, oh, whoop. Uh, the other thing that we have that a lot of people find um, uh, helpful is that you can actually buy things on the site. So really? for instance, yeah. So, so we have uh, what's new. I bring this up just because uh, now we're selling uh, um, these nifty little badges. Um, so if I select on this, uh, it'll give me a description of what the product is. Click here to order. I can add this to my cart. I can go to my cart and I can check out just like you would in a, a, a normal um, uh, online site. If you, if you find any of this confusing, um, we have full explanations on how to use uh, our online purchasing step-by-step -step instructions. So uh, you can use this to buy some of our our goodies, uh, and we also use this for some of the paid events that you want to sign up for. Uh, the uh, uh, DE and the autocross events in general um, will link to another site uh, called uh, motorsportsreg.com, which will take you through the same thing and, and uh, allow you to register. Uh, so if there's any questions on the site or how to use the site, um, my my suggestion is just go in and start clicking around and see what you like and um, play this nifty video because I made this kind of has pictures and shit. It's really good. Um, so that's it for the, for the website. Uh, I did mention that we have other digital properties. So we have Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we have a, uh, uh, an outbound Facebook page. Uh, but probably what's used the most is, is a, uh, what we call a Facebook group page where it's really just for approved people to, uh, uh, to participate. A lot of good uh, uh, conversations that happen there. And if anything's going to happen like real time, if, if someone wants to get together and go to a uh, uh, cars and coffee, uh, a post will happen there. People will join in. And you can organize with your friends and show up for a, uh, an event like that. So that's uh, between Instagram and Facebook. Those are our real-time uh, communications vehicles. Uh, the website's kind of the place where we, we put all our historical information as well as all our scheduling information. Well, Dyke, this was phenomenal. You you worked so hard on this. It was a true labor of love and every bit of it shows I mean, now I have a whole novel to go read in the history. So I'm excited about that. And it's really great for new people. I mean, we're, you know, high tech here with all the, <clears throat> the links. It's beautiful. You did a great job. Uh, it wasn't just me. So everybody did a great job. I, you know, it's the content that makes the site and it's the people that manage the, uh, the different activities that supply the content. So it really... All the, uh, all the website is, is a reflection of all the great work that's done by all the people that, that do all the things that make this place work.
Well, our members are very lucky that you have you and your team have put all that work in. Thank you, Doug. Oh, go ahead, Ron. You have some uh, comments, please. Go yeah. Ahead. So, uh, uh, hi everyone. So, uh, Dyke mentioned at the very end of the social media pages, and I just want to make another uh, a comment associated with this. So, the Facebook page group, yes, it is a moderated group in terms of you have to be a member of an AJR in order to be allowed to be on the group. The same is true with the Instagram account. Um, so with Instagram, while the information that's posted out is publicly available, in order to uh, follow and follow us and be added to that, yeah, I'm really trying to restrict that to um, an NJR members. I may I may occasionally add um, other other uh, Porsche groups. Um, like I think I had a, a follow request from like a, a PCA group in California, um, but for the most part, it's it's all um, our members that can follow us. Uh, so it's another avenue, um, and it's also another avenue for, um, as as Dyke mentioned, for real time stuff to to be posted out there. So um, just uh, and kind of leading to that as well, Richard mentioned it a little bit earlier. Uh, we've been requesting and we've been getting a, a, a number of uh, photos for our photo contest, and uh, submissions are done now. We're kind of reviewing these, and we're going to start posting to both uh, Instagram and, and to Facebook for voting um, on a select number of photos, not on all of the ones that we received. Um, and with that possibility of winning a couple prizes, both for the, the winning photos, as well as the fact that you voted on, on uh, either Facebook or Instagram, either of our social uh, media platforms. So a little bit of uh, advertising there. Um, that will get started uh, next week. Well, and that will be announced on the social media pages um, as well. Great. Thanks, Shannon. Is that your think... car? Oh, <laughs> not really. <laughs> I like it. It's a pretty one. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that. I know we still have Tom Calibro and Hubert. Uh, if one of you guys would like to have a go, uh, Hubert, would you be ready to go if I give you the screen? Uh, I think you're still on mute. Yep. There we go. Oh. Now I've got the button. Okay, so let me just share my screen. I... Can anybody, can everyone see that? Uh, wait. Not yet. Hold on. Uh, so, share screen. Share. Okay. Okay, so how are we doing? How about now? That's still you, Shannon. We got to have Hubert be a co-host. Uh, yeah. Uh, me co-host. There you go. Okay. Yep. Back over to now Zoom. Try to share, Hubert. Um, I'm not seeing that. Cancel it. So at the top of your screen, Hubert, uh, there, do you see anything that's green or that says- uh, I see a green, let, let me click on the green. I see Shannon Moore's screen is green. Okay. Um, all right, how about I try it again? So stop, share, okay, and then share, share. And... Uh, yeah, Shannon, you have to give, don't share your screen, give. Um, uh, so how, okay. Hubert. How about that? Uh, Hubert is the host now. Hubert, you're on. Okay, so can you see my screen now? You should, no. now you have, to, you have to click, Hubert, you have to click uh, share your screen. I am in share, screen sharing mode. <clears throat> hmm. And it says I'm sharing my screen. We okay. still see just you though here, but that's weird. Still, I uh, don't see that. Let me stop it. Now let me share screen again. You should be able to see it now. It says I have a message saying that you're sharing it, but I still see you. 
All right, so if I go to the top of my screen under view options, it lets me pick which one of those shared screens to look at. Oh, yeah, that. that's that's what you have to do under under uh, view options. Oh, okay. There you are, Hubert. Okay, I got Help me you. now. Oh, I Great. see. All right, got it now. Another, okay. another Zoom lesson today. Thank you, Hubert. Uh, <laughs> you. So, what button do you have to press? On I the did, very I top did, uh, of the, the screen is view button. options, and then you can be able to select. Uh, which shared screen you want to see. Okay. Okay. So folks, I wanted to talk very briefly about charity for 2021. And the, the basic story here is that it was a record year for us. Uh, we generated $44,000, a little over that in donations. And you know, I, I said over here in my, in my two sidebars, I really have to say thanks to the members and thanks to the volunteers for doing that. I mean, obviously it wasn't all me. Uh, it was, you know, members contributing and volunteers helping, and uh, so the whole thing came together. And those blue boxes you see around the corner are just to remind you of the four places that we really had an impact uh, in generating those, those funds. We had the gold ticket drawing, uh, and uh, you, some of you probably watched that on uh, YouTube. You can go back and watch it again. It, it's linked in uh, Dyke's uh, uh, webpage. Uh, and... Unusual for us, we had a first place winner that's not in, in NJR. Uh, he's in uh, Northern Ohio region. Uh, and then we have one of our own uh, in second place, uh, an NJR member. Uh, and then uh, early in the spring last year, we had uh, Welcome to the Club, that's what WTC stands for, uh, show and rally. And uh, some of you were there at that and uh, you probably had the, the pleasure of getting to know some of the members in Cheshire Home, which is the charity which we support. They came over and uh, viewed our cars and had an opportunity to meet some of you. And uh, we're just really thrilled to be able to get out of their place, come over in their wheelchairs and wheel around the parking lot. And we're planning on doing that again this year. So 2022, we're planning on having the same sort of a show and rally, uh, same location. Uh, so plan on that. It's the middle of May, I think it's May 15th. Uh, in the fall, we had a fall fun drive. And for that, we were asking members to donate to buy three new technology beds for Cheshire Home. And we met that, uh, that goal of earning, uh, of raising $30,000, quite an accomplishment. And I got a note from Cheshire Home that said the combination of our funds plus the funds that they collected through other, other drives have, have now allowed them to buy 10 new hospital beds to accommodate their, uh, their clients. So that was a great success for them in 2021. And finally, to, to alleviate some of the food insecurity in our region, uh, we donated to food banks. Uh, so these were direct donations from the club itself that we did. We chose two of those <laughs> food banks. If you're not familiar with the technology are kind of the, the, the mothership of food pantries. So they provide the, the main sources of, uh, of food, which are then distributed to the pantries. And two of the big ones in our region for the NNJR are Northwest Cap and Central New Jersey Food Bank. And we contributed to both of those. So 2021 was a great year for charity. And in 2022, we we're finally planning on bringing back the in-person auction and casino night, which has kind of, kind of been the mainstay of what charity has been about over the last few years. And so we're hoping to get that in place again. Cross, fingers crossed. <laughs> COVID has been a problem. But uh, we hope to do that, and we're planning on that around um, November 5th, I think we have it planned for. So uh, we'll, we'll tell you more about the place and the, and the format for that. But uh, save up your things for bringing them to the auction, and uh, we'll append that along with a casino night, which I understand is, can be a lot of fun, and it's been one of the, one of the traditions that Cheshire Home has been having. So I want to thank everybody for contributing to the to our charity drives and uh, looking forward to another great year. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Hubert. I really appreciate that. I mean, amazing things you've done over there. <laughs> Just amazing. All right. Um, Tom Calabra, would you like to um, give an update on DE? Sure, Shannon. Thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, as uh, Shannon mentioned, I'm uh, the track chair for the DE program. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with DE, it uh, allows you to take your car onto a track, a closed circuit, 
with an instructor if you're if you're brand new and uh, learn how to drive uh, your high performance uh, machine uh, at uh, on a closed circuit a, a real race race circuit. Uh, this year we will have uh, 10 events. Um, I'm not going to name them all, just to highlight a couple. Our first event is at Lightning in April. That's in the New Jersey Motorsports down. Uh, New Jersey Motorsports Park is in Millville. It's kind of in between Atlantic City and Philadelphia. So it's fairly close. And so on the first event, we're gonna have instructor training. Uh, we also are planning, depending on uh, how things are going along, to have a social uh, that night. Compliments of Paul Miller. Uh, Paul Miller Porsche. Uh, then in uh, two events later, it will be at Thunderbolt. That's again, back at New Jersey Motorsports Park. And the reason I mentioned that is because we're gonna have an intro to DE. Typically we had that at Lightning. So that's gonna move. And that'll allow people who are just wanna kind of get a taste of the track. Some, some other clubs call it that. Uh, and so right now it's uh, we're, uh, not sure exactly how much we're going to do it again it depends on what's happening with the virus but um, you will be able to bring your car on the track and either you will drive with an instructor or you'll follow an instructor around the track uh, probably have a, a meeting or two so you got to get a flavor of what's going on uh, you'll be able to see the other people in the paddock and talk to them uh, we had this last year and it, again it was scaled down because of the virus and uh we had, it was quite well received. We had quite a few members who went on to run in other events uh, uh, in the year. Um, it, uh, at Watkins Glen, which will the Watkins Glen three-day event, which will be in August, we're gonna have the uh, barbecue uh, or buffet dinner. That's undecided at this point, but again, uh, that's going to be sponsored by Paul Miller Porsche. And um, as Dyke mentioned, uh, you could sign up for all these events on motorsportreg.com. If you have any questions about that, you can contact me. Uh, but we, before we get going on the actual driving events, we're gonna have a winter seminar on February 20th. And our speaker this year will be a very accomplished driver. Her name is Pippa Mann. And uh, she has raced at uh, Indianapolis seven times. She's actually the fastest, posted the fastest uh, uh, two laps for qualifying by a woman of over 230 miles per hour. Nice. Uh, she, um, she's won a 24 hour race at the uh, Nürburgring uh, with, uh, with her teammates. Uh, she is, um, she's driven in the Porsche Challenge at Great Britain. Uh, she's uh, Indy has driven Indy Lights. I think she was a pole sitter on Indy Lights and one of three women uh, to sit on the pole uh, at the uh, at the Indy uh, Lights competition. The other, um, can't think of the other two offhand, but uh, she's only one of three. Um, let's see. So that'll be on February 20th. We're going to do two events that day, two seminars. We'll do a uh, instructor seminar and then we'll do a driver seminar. Um, again, we're just firming that up with Pippa right now, but I envision it starting somewhere around 1230. Uh, we'll have a, uh, you know, a, uh, we'll do some of NNJR things and then we'll have Pippa for about an hour and then we'll have a break and that'll be the instructor meeting in the, uh, the first one in the afternoon. And then the second one will be the driver meeting, uh, probably starting somewhere around three o'clock. And again, she'll talk for about an hour and then we'll do the, uh, uh, the nuts and bolts of uh, NNJR meeting after that. So uh, look for information on that, uh, hopefully uh, soon. But uh, again, Sunday, February 20th, if uh, you have any friends who would like to, uh, who think they'd like to uh, get into uh, DE, want to learn a little bit more, you could certainly have them join. If you have a spouse who says, hey, uh, you know, you'd like to get the spouse to the track, this is a great way to, um, uh, to give them a kind of a flavor of what, is, what we're doing there. And certainly you get a unique perspective coming from a female pro driver. Usually we have male pro drivers, which they're 
it's uh, you know, understandable since uh, they are many more than the women out there, but uh, she's definitely in the top drive, one of the top drivers. She's been a chief instructor at uh, the Porsche track experience at Barber Motorsports Park. So uh, she has driving experience, she has coaching experience. And uh, so we're really looking forward to, uh, to her talk. Um, and also, if, uh, if you're on Facebook, on our Facebook page, I just posted, uh, I guess about a week ago, that uh, because we go to Watkins Glen, part of the deal there is they give us tickets to the NASCAR and the IMSA event. Uh, I've already had some people ask me for those tickets. And uh, Shannon. Me. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> so she's on the list. And, uh, but there are some IMSA tickets left. There's a lot of NASCAR tickets left. Uh, I, I know we don't have a lot of uh, people maybe who watch NASCAR versus IMSA, but it's certainly an exciting race, exciting place to be uh, for that, uh, you know, for the NASCAR event. They're great tickets. Um, most of the seating is um, at the end of the uh, front straight. It's in between turns one and turns two. So wow. you see them coming down the front straight. You can see them going up through the S's. So uh, if you want them, send me an email. And I'll uh, get you in there. So again, if uh, you have any have any questions about DE, uh, certainly uh, email me or just as Dyke pointed out, there's plenty of information on the uh, on the website. Uh, as uh, Dyke pointed out, we have lots of videos and uh, track uh, uh, information on the website. But before each event, we run a meeting and uh, to give you a, you know, whether it's turn by turn or whatever. Um, so we're, it's a lot of information. And uh, fortunately, you, if you, uh, you're you interested, take advantage of it and uh, it'll help you drive better, not only on the track, but on the street as well. So looking forward to seeing you on uh, at the track. Well, thank you, Tom. I look forward to seeing you at the track. <laughs> Um, okay, everybody. I think we may have gotten to everyone. I Shannon? think Kevin, Can right? I, you want just a couple minutes about Concord? Yep, sure, please. Okay. So the uh, the idea about the Concord activity or the objective of Concord is to try and help you uh, maintain the look of your vehicle. Uh, you know, hopefully keeping it uh, looking as good as it did when it came out of the factory. You know, uh, our cars uh, have a lot of different materials. Uh, and you may be wondering about, uh, you know, if, if you have uh, an imperfection in a, a particular area, you know, how could you improve it or how could you address it? So, you know, Dyke took us through the website and, uh, you know, on if you go to the publications uh, section and then he, he showed the uh, our, our club's YouTube page, there's a section there on concours. So there's some of the uh, uh, DIY uh, information is, is listed there, as well as, as Dyke was mentioning about uh, the digital uh, magazine that our club puts out. Generally speaking, every activity uh, that, that has spoken tonight, you know, is writing stories. And, uh, you know, a lot of it is instructional, as has been discussed. So let's say from a season perspective, you know, this year, because of parade, uh, you know, like Rich uh, was speaking about, uh, that gives us a, a really a great uh, high profile uh, event and, and certainly a concours at the parade is, is a very special uh, event. And uh, for our club itself, we're gonna have, uh, you know, hopefully we're gonna have four workshops where, uh, you know, uh, Tyke was mentioning about uh, some of the personnel who belong to this club. Uh, you know, one of the workshops, uh, you know, if, if we're successful in having it, uh, you know, they, they've had cars at Pebble Beach, uh, successful uh, show uh, car at, at Pebble Beach. So you're really learning from, you know, some of the best restoration people in the business on how to, how to address defects uh, that may occur, uh, you know, in the surface uh, of, of your vehicle. So four, four workshop events, then four, uh, let's say, club, car show, concours events. And uh, 
again, if you participate in a Concord, we, we have different levels of participation from street, which is a very simple, you know, uh, you know just the uh, interior and the exterior, exterior, excuse me. And then we all the way up through uh, interior, exterior, the, uh, the trunk, uh, the engine area uh, being judged. So the, the good thing about getting your car judged is you're gonna get feedback about specific defects. There'll be some, uh, 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 let's say, constructive criticism or points uh, about what needs to be addressed. So you're really getting an expert uh, looking over your car and uh, you know, over the season, over multiple seasons, your car will look better. Uh, you know, I think all of us who have participated in Concord uh, have learned that the people in our club are very special and, uh, you know, their objective is to help you have that car look as, as good as possible. Well, that's the goal. <laughs> Gotta love Concord. Well, thank you, Kevin. I really appreciate that. Thanks for your time. Thank you, everybody, for your time. Does anyone have any questions or comments before we finish out the night? I got one thing to say about the uh, oh the PX, yes uh, yes oh uh, yeah that uh, that ended up being a lot more time or a little bit tougher because uh, after picking fifteen different garments and colors, I was told that. They're not using that supplier anymore because they don't have any stock. And so they gave me a different one to go to and then ended up that one only has X amount of stuff available. So that's all we can get. And it's not even really good stuff, but um, it'll be something available for those who may want a lavender polo, which is one of the ones that's uh, available. I've been uh, sending uh, Rich some of the info and now I'm just, uh, it's, I've, requ I've requested to have at least pictures of the garments with the logos on them. And um, eventually I get an email back and they're working on it because it says it doesn't happen that fast. So hopefully we at least have something for the parades. So we can fly the colors, you know, but um, I'll keep asking and uh, even supply of clothing that I deal with my business has been difficult to get. So they're not lying. It's just, you know, Can't get anything. different brands and they say it's coming and it's on back order. It'll come the next day or it'll come in three months. So hopefully that'll change soon too, but at least the logos were okay. I gave the stitch colors for what goes on the background of what other shirts. So they said they could do that. So I got all the, all the answers, uh, all the questions answered, but now I'm just waiting for the garments to show up. So to see what's available. Quite the process. Yeah. yeah. It just takes a while. Yeah. Well, thank and, you. Uh, uh, Jose, how would people actually uh, get that information? Where would they, um, where do they go to pull the information to be able to shop for a garment and stuff? Eventually it'll be on the website. Once, uh, oh. once, the, P once the PCA has the garments to sell for us and they just send you to a PCA link. Right. Because the, the other, so the, the other company that was, that was doing it was fine. And all of a sudden they stopped. They didn't tell anybody. They didn't tell me. And people were saying the website's not working. And that's how I found out. And I ended up calling, talking to somebody there eventually. They said, oh yeah, we, uh, we're no longer the PCA affiliated. But we can still do you know some shirts if you do half a dozen at a time. I go, well, it really won't work. So I've been in contact with PCA and I've been to some of the sites of other clubs on how they have their shirts on display. And it was pretty close to what we had before, but they just can't get the, even those clubs that have shirts for sale can't get them either. So I have the display, but just don't get the shirt. So basically we're being offered a few polos, even t-shirts uh, to see, but uh, no, uh, no poofy coats, which is what I was, uh, trying to get for the winter. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for trying. And I'm sure when we can get them, uh, people will start buying them for sure. Thanks. Thank. Okay. I appreciate you letting us know that, Jose. Thank okay. you. Quick, quick question on, on the good, the goodie store link though. So it is a dead link.
can can that be updated or a comment or something put out there so it so people don't just click on it and it goes nowhere uh, i guess uh, if uh, it could be just put that um supply is low and we're working on it and hopefully the goodie store will be back up soon with selected items which not much to select from but at least you'll have something yeah Even we'll, that, we'll, 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 address have that's available. We'll, we'll address it we'll address it we have this uh interesting uh icon of a cow being lifted by a uh a, a spaceship you know um so yeah yeah, on that we, note, we have, a way, we have a way of addressing that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Thank All you, right. everybody. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. Rich, Presidente, do you have anything else to say? No, thank you, Shannon. Thanks for running the meeting. We appreciate it. All right. It. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. See you soon. All right, Shannon. Bye. Bye. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.